hypophysitis. Definition Autoimmune hypophysitis, often referred to as lymphocytic hypophysitis, is defined as an inflammatory condition of the pituitary gland of autoimmune etiology that leads to pituitary dysfunction. Hypophysitis is an inflammation of the pituitary gland due to some autoimmune disorder. Cause The exact cause of lymphocytic hypophysitis, LH, is still under debate and remains unclear. It has been suggested that LH has an autoimmune etiology. This has generally been supported by the frequent postpartum occurrence and the lymphocytic infiltration, as well as several histopathological, laboratory and clinical findings. Signs and Symptoms Individuals affected with lymphocytic hypophysitis typically have headaches as their first symptom. This usually precedes or occurs with visual field impairment, rarely, double vision, diplopia, may be present. Hyperprolactinemia affects approximately one-third of individuals, causing amenorrhea, absence of menstruation, or galactoria, production of breast milk, in women and sexual dysfunction in men. Other features that occur more rarely and are related to alterations in pituitary secretions may include Hyperprolactinemia, deficiency of prolactin Subclinical hypopituitarism, decreased production of pituitary hormones with no symptoms ACTH deficiency Acute adrenal crisis Hypogonadotropic hypogonadism, usually diagnosed only in males Isolated growth hormone, GH Deficiency Diagnostic Evaluation Mainly, the diagnosis of hypophysitis is through exclusion. Patients often undergo surgery because they are suspected of having a pituitary adenoma. But, the most accurate diagnosis is using magnetic resonance imaging MRI, to find any mass or lesions on the cella tersica. It is a known side effect of the new immune checkpoint inhibitors of the CTLA-4 inhibitor and PDL-1 inhibitor classes, used for the treatment of melanoma, and should be considered in patients on these drugs who present with endocrine dysfunction. Management Many affected individuals only have headaches as a manifesting symptom, and there have been multiple reports of these individuals improving with glucocorticoids alone. Although the use of glucocorticoids or other anti-inflammatory and immunosuppressive drugs have been suggested as medical treatment, their long-term efficacy still needs to be confirmed. High-dose methylprednisolone pulse therapy, short, intensive administration given at set intervals, seems to be effective in about 30% of treated patients. It was shown through various testing that administration of bromocryptine can improve field of vision defects and lower prolactin levels. It was also found that when using corticosteroids, there was a decrease in size of the gland, and relieved compression on the dura mater. These corticosteroids were also found to have an immunosuppressive effect which helped with reducing the autoimmune reaction of the gland. Transphenoidal surgery, accessed, through the nose, to confirm diagnosis and save viable pituitary tissue may be required in individuals with symptoms or signs of severe compression. Visual improvement following decompression with this type of surgery has been reported. In some cases, pituitary biopsy is both diagnostic and therapeutic, because after this procedure a progressive recovery of pituitary function may occur. So guys, thanks for watching my video. You can like and comment on my video, but don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to watch quality content like this. Thank you guys.